of the surf and skate history of our town. Before we get rolling tonight, because we have big guests, three, four guests coming out of our ears. Is everyone, can everyone come close to the microphone, please? Come on up here, Augie. Okay, get everyone up here, please. We have a birthday in the house. Oh, that would be, dang that would be you. Mr. Terry Campy, my what? dear co-host, has a birthday. So a little rendition of Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hurry it up. Happy birthday, dear TCC. Okay, we're done. Nice job. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Happy birthday, TC. Who is him the years old? Yeah. How old are you, 28? I am 51 years old today. Wow, you just started growing yourself up. I know. I'm an old grom. In house tonight, we have Mr. Tyler Fox. Where's Tyler? Greetings. Oh, he's behind there. Mm -hmm. We have Anthony Tashnik. How's Ryan, it going? Why, Augie, why are you sitting all the way over there? He's on the he's, shoulder right now. He's on the shoulder. He's, he's shoulder in the pits. <laughs> Ryan Augenstein, uh, who's uh, not quite sure what the hell is going on here. Yeah, he's figuring out the lineup right he's, now. He's he'll he'll paddle over here in a minute. Okay, three of the, I call them the Santa Cruz Six. What do mm. you think about that name? Uh, yeah, that got that's, chosen. That's, that chosen to be on the Big Wave World Tour this year, 2014, 2015. A lot of flack about that. Uh, yeah, what's that about? <laughs> Some real angry people. And we also how he also here tonight with Alejandra Kramer from Give Surf. We're going to talk to her later a little bit about GiveSurf.org. Your English tongue did that pretty good. It did. Yeah, nice job. Because Dr. Hetzler says I, I'm, now my hearing's better. I can speak better. Wow. According to Rebecca Costa, she can now understand what the hell I'm saying on this radio show. Very nice. Uh, we are on Twitter, which I've been tweeting. We are on Facebook or Instagram, YouTube, and we are streaming live on the surfchannel.com. Are we still on TuneIn? Yeah, TuneIn. Yeah, Did okay. you see what Shannon Quirk from the uh, Surf Channel? Producer at the X Games. X Games producer. That's a gig. You'd go in a limo to that, don't you? That is <laughs> a hell of a gig. Is she, is she going to remember us? No. We're such... <laughs> we're, she, we're, she, we're like... We're small fry. Our now. promos are coming... They're coming yeah, like Monday, over. you know, like Tuesday, like 4 o'clock. They used to come like before the weekend. We make the beat, we, She made a big deal out of us. I heard she tweets us at about 3 a.m. now. Yeah. <laughs> we're chopped liver. Oh, well. Who do you want to start with first? Uh, do you want to go with Fox? Because you've got the next D. Well, Tyler Fox got a big award. Of course. Um, this week, this just past week, Tyler? I can't see uh, it. Yeah, this past stuff. Uh, and he got, an, evening. he got a Nexty, which is award, a local Santa Cruz award, which is like the, mm. it's like the Oscars of Santa Cruz. Were you on the cover of The Good Times? Yes, I was. Wow. Sideways. Oh, he got a cover shot. He's been it. on the off radio <laughs> show like 19 times in the last three, last three shows. I would like to start with Tyler because I, I call, I've been calling him this for, for a while now, the media mogul. Uh. Um, but let's start with the Big Wave World Tour. I want, as we talked about, we announced that we had the 12, not, uh, not everybody in the contest, but the 12 that are guaranteed in the contest, and six are from Santa Cruz. And I've, I had a long talk with Skin Dog, but I wanted to take your... Skin Dog Talks? He does. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. But, okay, love you. but, so check this out. I want your take on why these six Santa Cruz surfers, including yourself, are six of the 12 that are invited to be seated in every contest. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I, I think we all deserve it. I think Santa Cruz has some of the best big wave riders in the world, and, and we've gone out and, and proven it. So I think it's, it's, uh, Pretty awesome. I'm stoked for, for all of our friends and for the crew that we have. Now, the six Santa Cruz surfers all participated in tour events this year. Yep. And that's really what gets you in. Just because you go out and charge the biggest waves and get the shots in the video parts, you have to be in the contest to be guaranteed a spot in the following year, correct? That's correct, yep. And I would, I'd like to get Augie over here at some time. He'll paddle over here because... He's, he's kind of the underdog, I think, a little bit in this whole equation. For sure. I mean, Augie's my boy. We, we've been growing up surfing together, and uh, the guy is, is phenomenal. He just, he just lets his surf and do the talking, which I think it, how, is how it should be. He goes out there and goes steeper and deeper than just about anybody. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, 
I'm just pumped for, for, for all the boys. Did you see any negative flags? Did you see any of the social media of negativity with the lineup? Were there or was the Big Wave World Tour getting you there at these spots? Uh, I have no idea. Yeah. I'm got I, the, uh, no idea yet? I, I think that I'm, um, I, I'm kind of unclear as well, but I, I think in the revised contract that we signed that they were going to help with some with some travels so. because you know you one if you get called a one day ticket to anywhere is pretty expensive yeah you got to be on it for sure right? and tyler last time we talked you were saying hey i'm a free agent looking for sponsorship any changes <laughs> since then um yeah you know a couple people uh, have um that that of i teach surfing um have graciously um offered to do at least just pay for a plane ticket which is huge so um but uh, I've, I've thought about maybe doing a crowdfunding, stuff like that. Kickstarter, right? Kickstarter, something, yeah, I don't know. Tazzy, which one of these locations haven't you surfed that you want to go surf? Um, Any, you, I want to surf Spain. You do? Yeah. Looking good? The, that look, spot? Yeah, it looked insane. Okay. I, I watched some of the stuff last last year. Which place, which place don't you really want to go to? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know me and my questions. I I can't wait for Jaws. You, are you ready to go? I just I've just been over there for over a month this year trying to get it, and it's so fickle, and and it breaks a couple times a year, and uh, it, that'll be a I've towed in before out there. Right. And I went and tried to paddle it this year just because I was so gung ho on doing it. My board's already over there, at, um, Rodney Kilborn's house. He's one of the local guys, legendary guys. So it's already there. It's made for the wave, and the one day. I had a chance to surf it. It was so windy. It was just me and two kiteboarders out. <laughs> <laughs> and I was on a 40-pound board and, like, getting blown out the back. And I talked to the, the two kiteboarders. Well, is it pretty windy for out here? They're all, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, Jaws is, I've towed it and seen it. It's amazing. I can't even, like, paddling it's going to be. Insane. Yeah, it's just going to be to the next level for, Tyler, for which... my surfing. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm nervous about it and, like, <laughs> And looking forward to it. Are you going to be paddling out like you did before with your, your hand over your eyes? I mean, you told us that story before oh, yeah. at Chopes. Yeah. Well, I'll have, I'll have to jump off. Like, the jump off the rocks pretty gnarly at Jaws. I don't know if they'll be having boats going out from Maliko Gulch, which is a good little distance. Or if you're going to have people jump off the rocks right there, it'll be curious. Like, yeah, this is the first year of the tour, so it'll be cool to... Um, Check it out, see what happens. Yeah, see what ASP does with it. Tyler, where do yeah. you want to go? Which spot do you want to go to that you haven't surfed at yet? Um, that I haven't surfed yet. Um, gosh, they all scare me, but I all also want to ride them all. Dungeons looks amazing. Um, Jaws. Um, the I mean, big lefts at Punta de Lobos looks fun as far as being a goofy foot. Right. That was so, gnarly. Yeah. Well, it seems like this year you have a great chance of surfing all of them because the windows have been extended. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know that, but there was, a, I believe, a one-month window before, but they're extending the windows so that there's going to be more time to get the right swell. So I, I got at Dungeons before. Like, I don't know if anyone from Santa Cruz has gone to Dungeons. I did this contest in a Red Bull contest in 2009, I think it was, and the wave is nuts. It's like it breaks, like, from as far as the hook all the way to Sewer Peak. That's how far the lineup is. It's like a huge wow. point break. And it kind of comes in shifts. There's these outer two reefs. And it's kind of uh, gets this side ching, like uh, a smaller rib, but that, it's still huge from up the reef, like way up at the top, like Grant Washburn, I would see, would sit up there. And it'll swing sideways into a giant bowl. And I was sitting up there. This is one of the scariest things that ever happened to me in my life. This wave, it's right outside where they film Shark Alley. It's like on the Shark Week. You know, and those sharks are mean over there. <laughs> like, Hung, it looks, they're it's, hungry. It looks like they have six packs and stuff. You've seen the slow motion footage of them <laughs> jumping with seals in their mouths. <laughs> so this is already on my mind. And I was way out the back. And when it's big waves, like, I couldn't see the boats. Like, they were already, like, almost a mile or something away. And I couldn't really see the boats because the whole ocean's going like this. So you see the boats, like, periodically. And I swear to God, it was, like, out of a cartoon. I was sitting there, and here comes this thing up out of the water. And if anyone's watching on the webcast, look, it is this big from here to the ground. And it went so, I know they say when uh, something happens, like 
everything goes slow motion. I didn't know if my head was playing tricks on me because the thing was literally moving so slow, like a Looney Tune cartoon. And I was on my board and I was going over these waves and I was just like fixated on this thing thinking I was going to die. <laughs> and I don't even know how long it was, but this guy came out on a jet ski. Oh, no, no, it's a sunfish. You're, don't worry. <laughs> have, you, sunfish. have you ever seen how big those things are? <laughs> oh, yeah, they're huge, massive. Dude. dude, it was um, because I swear the fin was like four feet close to out of the water and it was just moving super slow, but it was circling me. <laughs> and it was what do you what do my you think chest, it was? my chest it was a sunfish oh it was yeah, you they, thought it was a shark though i thought i didn't know what cuz i just like when something like that happens like i don't know i've never i was so scared my and my chest hurt for a couple of days after like i was was this during attack. your heat this was during my heat <laughs> oh Spe man okay speaking of peter mel we're talking about peter mel earlier this portion of the show is brought to you by the family the mel family and surf shop the freeline is in surf shop on 41st avenue over 40 years. I think it's 45 years coming up this yeah, year. they're having a 45-year party. They are? Yep. Okay, we should go to that. 45 years. They've been surfing the surf, serving the surf community of Santa Cruz. Stop by the shop one block from the beach at the Hook. Check out the true surf shop with history. This is Neil and TC. TC's birthday tonight. Do you want to come by with some more cake? <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> we would be love to eat some. We'll be right back after this commercial. Thinking of a vacation in Santa Cruz? Then contact Beach Nest Vacation Rentals at 831-722-0888 to make your reservation. The very best local vacation management company with their staff will take care of the tiniest of details to better your memorable Monterey Bay holiday. They are pet friendly with a choice of homes on or close to the beach in Santa Cruz and the Central Coast. For further information, go to beachnest.com or follow them on Facebook. Hello Highland Grill. Corner Portola Drive and 17th Avenue, featuring mouth-watering plate lunch. We're proud to celebrate 10 years of serving the Santa Cruz community. And we'd like to send a shout-out to Neil and TC for doing a great job for over a year here with their Off the Lip radio show. We're open seven days a week, 11 a.m. till 9 p.m. Visit us on the web at alohaislandgrill.com. Like us on Facebook. For to-go orders, call 479-3299. Congratulations once again to Neil and TC for one year on the air. Aloha Island Grill is a proud member of Think Local First. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Hi, this is Steve Pereira, the beach guy at Bailey Properties in Santa Cruz, California. If you're looking for a beach home or a coastal property, give us a call at 831-818-7064. Or you can call my wife, Diane, at 831-818-5939. Or drop in on our website at lifesabeach.com and check out all the inventory in all price ranges. We've been selling beach properties since 1982. We're here to help you. Give us a call today. And we are back with the Off The Lip Radio Show on KSCO. Right now, we're going back to our trivia question. Did we forget about trivia? I don't even think we talked about trivia, uh, I, did we? I, I, <laughs> what do you, how about we do it after the next no, break? What do you, no, I'll get it right here. What are you giving away? What can you give away, birthday boy? <laughs> what am I giving away yeah, this what time? Do you, what do you got to give away? <laughs> um, we're going to do a skate deck of your choice off of the board, room, wall, oh. except for the really expensive collector okay. decks. Right. Yeah. Don't, you can't get, you can't get greedy, but you no, can pick no, out no, a deck, no, yeah. No, no. If you want to call in, actually, you want to call in tonight. The phone number is 479-1080. By the way, any cute girls call in and ask for Ryan, please. Yeah, we need cute girls. This guy's a good-looking dude. Stud. <laughs> girls need to call in. If, you, if you're looking for a good-looking, studly dude, 831-479-1080 is the phone number. He's a future Mavs also, champion, right, by the way. Which is also the phone number of the trivia question, which... Uh, trivia is brought to you by Felix Sand Dollar Ding Repair. Who hold Sunday? It, it, by the way, how was the party? Oh, it was legendary. Skirt steak. He had more really? food there than yeah. You know, it was Dang. unbelievable. Him and Nicole put out a bash. Well, it was it was great. It was a I great say this party. every time. We don't even need to promote him because he's the best. Right. So and if, if your board's dinged, right? If you ding, if doors ding, bashed, walloped, smacked, gashed. What's walloped in Alejandro? What's walloped in uh, Spanish? I don't know. Okay. That's we slang. Do we don't do that. Dude, what's bashed <laughs> in Spanish? Smashed. Okay. Smashed. <laughs> if it floats, Felix will fix it. Last week's guest, 
Frosty. Hmm. Okay. The third caller, 831-479-1080, gets a, what's he get, TC? A skate deck of your choice. That's right. That's a good $50 prize. And the question is, uh, the name of Frosty's book that he wrote. Good question. Okay. You get the, you call in, 831-479-1080. I don't think very many people know Frosty's a, a land sailor. Do you know that? He lands. Okay, sails. now Chris, our engineer, has got no idea what the answer is. TC, can you tell Chris what the answer is? Because he's got no idea. Oh, great. I'll go in there. Okay. We have, we got, we got, oh, here we go. We have Marco on the phone. Marco, are you there? Hey, congratulations to um, all you guys on that heavy honor being selected for the uh, Big Wave Tour. And happy birthday to TC. Thank you. But uh, I, uh, unfortunately, I don't remember the name of Frosty's book, but uh, I wanted to ask the guys. Apparently, um, no one else does either. About, <laughs> uh, Talk a little bit maybe about the equipment, the range of boards that you guys are going to be riding. It's kind of really interesting because obviously you guys are going to have completely different uh, boards. You're going to be riding in different places. So you're going to have a pretty fat quiver. And who some of the shapers are. So I'd love to hear that. All right. Tazzy, Thanks, what, are you, what are you riding, Tazzy? Thanks, my, Marco. I got all my competition in here. I don't know if I'm ready to disclose <laughs> that information. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's like an America's Cup boat. They keep it all wrapped Is up. Is it a secret? Ryan, where are you going? It's, okay, <laughs> it's uh, I'm definitely I'm riding a I'm riding a twin fin. Okay, Tyler's writing it down right now but too. But twin, but twin. Uh, <laughs> there's so many like fins are just so important as it is to fins, like the rake or the how <clears throat> vertical they are, or, like the foil is really important, especially the material like G10 or if you're getting into length and. Uh, but I've been, I've been really about a uh, lower entry more tail rocker because if your tail's too flat it's gonna actually you you think flat is fast but if you have a flat tail it'll actually hold you up and like keep you from sliding in because it's like grabbing onto the face as it goes vertical and acting like a, a paddle cupping it or if you have some flip on the tail it'll okay. release you that's okay. pretty much what we've had a lot of people in here and that's what they all have been talking about todd you going you going shorter the sh uh um, these contests are you gonna but Tazzy how thick and uh, okay. how oh, long and how wide and <laughs> 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 he's not okay. disclosing no, no. okay go ahead go ahead um 10 foot yep and I got a uh, it's I mean I have multiple boards but the new one it's 21 inches wide and it's uh who's shaping it Bob Pearson. Oh, Bob's doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. EPS. Tyler? We just had Bob on. He was the board you're describing is what he's saying is hot. Yeah, it is hot. Tyler, uh, what are you are you writing that down, Tyler? Or are you it's, uh, all, it's all written down. Yeah. <laughs> are you, what are you writing? Um I'm writing uh Travis Reynolds. Um he's shaping my guns and um just ordered a uh got a uh, got a nine six that I just ordered and um it's a quad, quad fin setup. Uh Got my fins from um, Rainbow Fins. They're uh, they're that G10 super okay. super solid um, fiberglass, super stiff. Um, and then a 10-2, and then an 8-6. Okay, now Augie's Augie's gonna stick that stay in the background. What do you think Augie's riding? Uh, Tyler, what do you think, Tyler? What's what's Augie, Augie riding? He he's crazy. He's probably on like a 8-2, 8-2 or 12-0 or something. Augie, yeah. can you yell, can you tell us what you're riding? Eight, eight, four. eight four. Who's four. your Who's your shaper? Uh, don't have one. You don't have one. Okay. Who's So who's making the eight four? You're making it. Tyler making it. Who's making that board for you? Uh, it's already already made. Oh, it's already made. All right. He's elusive, huh? He's very elusive. He's the Mickey Dora of big wave riding. <laughs> he right now. is very, very quiet. <laughs> so, Tyler, I wanted to ask you a question because Skin Dog said he showed up at the airport and go to Spain. They're like, you can't bring your boards. Are you guys prepared to get your boards? I mean, I know you have some in Hawaii, but is it? Have you thought about that yet, traveling with these big boards? Uh, y yeah, and um, that's definitely a challenge. And uh, Tazzy might have some more info on that. Yeah, you just you take your board, and that's it. You don't take a bag. You don't take nothing. You just take your surfboard, and you hand it to them, and they look at the thing like they're scared <laughs> of it. And they, they, they're actually really careful with it. And then you get one of those stickers on it. like Fragile? fragile. Yeah, well, no, just like a the sticker they would, they stick around your handle on your bag and like together, oh. they just put that long on your board. And uh, Ross Clark Jones showed me that when we were going. So no more board, but you're doing no more board bags. I mean, if if it came down to it and they told me no board, I mean, I would just hand them 
the, just the board. Like, and our, I don't know. I mean, I'm just gonna whoa. ask uh, ask some friends and and watch a, you know as many videos I can. But um, I got a place yeah, and know. a truck over there. You can come with me, Tyler. There you go. Mm. I'll take you down there. Perfect. I got a jet ski over there. It's all good. I like it. The there boys. Go. That's really good. Teaming up. Tyler, let's talk a little bit about your new venture because everyone should know that you're Santa Cruz Wave and you're a media mogul here in Santa Cruz and soon the world. Big project coming up. Tell us what's going on. Um, so we're launching a uh, our first issue of Santa Cruz Waves magazine um, out um, June 18th is the scheduled uh, launch date when it's going to be completed and uh, 108 pages, high quality. We really want to make it as like a coffee table type, type um, uh, publication, um, really cool articles, great photography. Um, Quarterly? It's actually going to be a bi-monthly, so every other month. Um, and uh, yeah, we're pretty pretty darn excited. Are you expanding, I mean, staff-wise for this project? I'm the photo editor. Nice job. <laughs> I'm trying to get a I'm trying to get a writing I'm trying to get a writing gig on there. <laughs> Neil, I'm, I'm trying, trying to get you in right I'm now. I'm trying to get like, a writing gig. I know a writer. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I mean, you know, Neil writes, and I, we really want to incorporate the community, and um, but we got a but great. But it's not great, just about surfers. It's what I learned tonight. It's not just about surfers. No, or it's skateboarders. Not. It can be anybody in the Santa Cruz community, totally. which is very cool. Which really opens a big window for yeah. a lot of people. Well, I heard you say something about you want to be in hotels and stuff. I think that's a really good concept with it. Yeah. Um, and, and congratulations. Once what when, when do we see the first issue? Uh, that's gonna be like June eighteenth and then or nineteenth, and that's my birthday. So I'm probably gonna be uh, running around on my birthday distributing magazines all over the town, all over the town. And I, we talked about this earlier. Who's the new sponsor of the Mavs contest? Um, that would be Cartel Management, and uh, that is uh, Griffin Guess's company. He's uh, um, the husband of supermodel Marissa Miller, and he is a surfer, and he's passionate about it, and he's just stoked on what the big wave r riders are doing, and really felt like he could uh, use his company to um, expand the sport and 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 uh, f definitely give give the surfers what they're you know m more of. Um, um, Not more limelight. Well, what is there? What's this business? It's uh, so he manages athletes, um, musicians, um, Kanye West, and and professional. You guys are going uh, big time here. Well, he's got to be a baller. He kicked Body Glove out, right? <laughs> Didn't Body Glove have a three-year deal? Is that my misunderstanding? Six years? Year? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'm not sure exactly exactly the details. We're going to have to get Jeff Clark down here again. I, I'm curious because okay. I, I heard a three-year deal. Tazzy's saying a six-year yeah, deal. Well, yeah. what happened to that deal? I'll tease yeah. him a little golf and get him down here, get well, him back on the show. Quite honestly, you guys might have seen, I'm sure saw the webcast after the contest. I thought they did a pretty good job. Yeah. I'll be quite serious. I wasn't a big fan of Body Glove before the contest. Yeah. I kind of dug them after. <laughs> you know, I... They, they had a lot of history and stuff on there. And yeah. Did you guys both see it, by the way? Body Glove's never done me wrong. I really <laughs> like Body Glove. Yeah. There's some cool people in that. Well, that I, honestly, like I said, good, though. I thought they did a good yeah. job. Yeah. And so, good. and are you excited about this change in, in the sponsorship? Do you think it's going to be a good thing? Totally. I I, um, I had breakfast with Griffin this morning, actually, and, and he was fired up. And he's like, hey, you guys are going to finally be able to get what you're worth and not you know i mean you're putting your lives on the line and you're and you're walking away with barely cutting you know breaking even and and you know for family men you know and the sean dollars and the skin dogs you know that are trying to support a family and to to not you know almost be losing money going to these events is kind of ridiculous are you guys getting appearance money for showing up now you're on the you guys are on the tour are you guys getting appearance money just for showing up like a Tiger Woods at a golf tournament? Like a Slater? Yeah. I, I don't... It's confidential. I, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. It's confidential? Well, this, this Griffin, dude, sure. I mean, I'm stoked that he signed up, but I just had this, like, I see bottle service now at the Mavs contest, you know? It's like, you get your bottle of vodka and there's velvet seats watching the contest, you know? It's, it's, <laughs> is he st I mean, are we going to have rap shows there and stuff now? I, I have... Why not? That'd be kind of cool. No, I, I know. Let's no, step I'm, it up a little bit. I well, I'm no just saying. Clue, but, um, yeah. I think Augie would. I think Augie would go for a rap show there. <laughs> Augie, what do you think? Yeah, rap show and some surfing. Yeah, he's in. I think he's in. 
<laughs> he, he nodded his head. He nodded. Yeah, got, we did get a nod out yeah, of Ryan him. Augustine is one of our guests tonight, but he's, he is on the sidelines. He, he will make an appearance sometime this decade. We pulled the cord about two seconds before I we got started. Him out of work, I got him out of work early, I think. <laughs> Comes down here and like, oh, what's man. the chance of us getting on the air tonight? We've got 25 minutes. What's the chance of us getting Augie on the air? Slim and none. Slim's out of town. Ladies, please call I in. No, 831 you want to call in tonight talk to the Mavericks boys we got three of the Santa Cruz six who are appearing surfing on the big wave world tour 2014 2015 this portion of the show is brought to you by other well-known names in Santa Cruz mm. Homer Rocky rat Nat young dollar Nelly replogle and Barney uh, there are amazing photographs of those guys down there at the uh, Dogmatic Arts in Capitola. Stop in, check out their art. Say hi to Patrick, who will uh, whip you up some food. All at the Lighthouse Building in downtown Capitola. This is Neil and birthday boy, TC. Woo. I do want to thank our sponsors for the show, and I want to thank our listeners. A lot of people come to me and say, hey, they're digging the show. So I want to thank our listeners. I want to thank our sponsors. We'll be right back after hearing from some of them. Hey, this is Susie from Flip Flop Shop Santa Cruz with a special offer for the Off The Lip Radio Show listeners. Now through April 15th, get 10% off when you mention the Off The Lip Radio Show and how much you love Neil and TC. We've got some great new styles and brands for spring, Sanook being one of them, happy, friendly, and fun. Check it out. We've listened to our customers. You guys have asked for arch support sandals. We got them. Bionic. You've also asked for larger sizes. Now carrying 17 and selected brands and styles. Protect yourself with Sunny Sun Bum Sunscreen. Flip Flop Shop Santa Cruz. We are located 1528 Pacific Avenue, downtown Santa Cruz. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Come join the fun at Save the Wave's 8th annual fundraiser, Life is a Wave. Friday, May 30th at 111 Minna in downtown San Francisco. Help us honor Chilean big wave surfer and Patagonia ambassador Ramon Navarro for his environmental work. Enjoy live music from Afro Samba sensation Sambada and top DJs. Win big in our spectacular live and silent auctions, all to raise money for Save the Wave's environmental programs. Buy tickets and get more info at www.savethewaves.org. And we'll see you there. Hey, Off the Lip Radio, going nationwide. Neil, TC, want to put my support out there for you guys, and thank you all for supporting People's Coffee. I'm uh, Kurt, the owner here. We're on the corner of 17th and Bromer in Live Oak Plaza. Wow, we just made seven years, so we're here to stay. We're not going anywhere. We put out an amazing cup of coffee. If you haven't been down to check us out, take a moment. We don't disappoint. We care about your happiness. People's Coffee, corner of 17th and Bromer. We will not let you down. We are back. You're listening to the Off The Radio Show broadcasting from the surf and skate capital of the world, Santa Cruz, California. 831-479-1080 is the phone number if you wish to call in tonight and speak to either. Uh, let me see. We've got Tyler Fox in the house, Anthony Tashnik, and coming up, Alejandra Kramer. But first, we have the birthday boy. Oh, jeez. TC. Well, and the, uh, earlier we were trying to get the girls to call and talk to Ryan. Well, he just Ryan, bounced. I, Ryan yeah, bounced. He, Sorry, he, girls. Yeah. Okay. His girlfriend's calling him. He, he, he went in. He paddled in. Yeah. <laughs> you guys Ryan was, off. Ryan was a little nervous tonight. He didn't well, want to come on the air. He sat on the shoulder over there. He, he did. He, did. We, 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 we got his feet wet. I know. Well, look at Tazzy. He's intimidating. I know. It's very <laughs> scary. By the way, the you, sun. Just, you got him in the lineup for this contest tour next year. You just scared him right out of yeah. here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Well, you know, and that's the thing. You know, I was talking to Skinny about this. He thought that uh, the the hassling. Maybe you guys can enlighten me in this. He thought the hassling in the on the tour last season was pretty minimal, and he had this theory that maybe he wasn't hassling enough. And as this grows, as we know, the Mavericks contest, the largest media followed contest yet. As this, do you think it's going to get more aggressive? Maybe we'll start start with you, Tazzy. What do you think? Tazzy's Mister Aggressive. Do you think, because I mean, do you think as, as this thing grows and as the money grows and the exposure goes and there's more on the line, it, is it during these critical big wave contests, is there going to be more hassling? Is it going to be more aggressive? I think it's um, more about 
getting in the rhythm with the ocean because if you're trying to go out and hassle you're probably going to be thrown off in a rhythm you kind of want to like you know pretend you're like you're the only one out there and then another thing is the last thing is with the board size so Augie's on an 8.6. I'm not going to be hassling with Augie because I'm not on an 8.6. Right. So you'll be 50 yards outside of him. Uh, people will be getting out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay. but that's – so, yeah, I think there's always going to be hassling, but um, it's not something you want to go for. Tyler, what do you think about that? Um, yeah, I, I, th- I totally agree with uh, Tazzy and the fact that you're really trying to find your own rhythm out there with the ocean and – um, but at times, you know, like you might be five feet next to y- your buddy and here comes a bomb or, or your competitor and, um, you know, and, and that could make it or, or break it for you getting through the heat or, or winning the contest. So, Well, I could see with the more marginal days, like two years ago, marginal sit around, not big sets, and one good wave comes and you can win a contest on it. Will everybody be like, yeah, you go, bro? TC. We sort out commer- our commercials got really confusing right there. So the Save the Waves event we just commercial we just played, mm-hmm. that event's been and gone. So yes. I forgot to take that out. That's okay. But you forgot to talk about the boardroom. No, uh, well, we it's, it's not just that. It's a, um, it is the biggest day in Pleasure Point, uh, the June twenty first. Okay. It's the Pleasure Point Street Fair, and last year was an amazing event. We had like five thousand people show up. Yeah. It is also the boardroom skate contest, and the boardroom skate contest is the largest contest in Santa Cruz. We give away seventeen hundred dollars potentially in prize money. How do you enter? Uh, it's free to enter. You enter the day of the contest. There's four age divisions, all the way going down to the littlest of kids. And what we do with the little kids is that there is no winner. It's a raffle. Everyone, okay. everyone who enters is in the raffle. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a great contest. Pros? Pro-am, pros, yeah, the whole deal. Okay. And Prize uh, money? Uh, yeah, 1500 Volcom's throwing in $500 gift certificate. Um, a lot of companies are ra- huge raffle. Um, we donate all the raffle proceeds to our Pushing for Good Grades. It's okay. a not-for-profit that we run. We're 100% of the money buys skateboards for kids in schools that improve on their report card. Okay, so, yeah, June 21st. Get your skateboard out, Tazzy. <laughs> <laughs> he shreds. I'm introducing right now Alejandra Kramer from GiveSurf.org. Now, I was involved a little bit with GiveSurf.org. I just helped move some schlaps and surfboards. But a couple of years ago, I wrote an article for the Sentinel about GiveSurf. I wanted to get involved a little bit in, in it, where in Santa Cruz alone, 100 used boards were donated by their surf community and were dropped off mm-hmm. at like Freeline, I think, the boardroom of yeah. Neil's. Mm-hmm. There was a hundred surfboards, a hundred. More, a hundred and ten. A hundred and ten that was sent, con- sent to Chile. Can you know, tell us a little bit about it and what you're doing now? Yeah, Give Surf is a local nonprofit that we started about three, four years ago, actually right after the um, earthquake in Chile in 2010. Which produced a tsunami, correct? Right. Because of the tsunami, there were a lot of local communities that were organization that teaches kids in the autism spectrum to surf and then we want to do stuff locally and two weeks ago uh, we gave about 10 boards to a new organization a new surf club in Wensonville High School and two of the coaches there taught the kids how to surf and we had a beach day now some of those kids have never even seen the beach before right never and they're from Watsonville and of course they're next to Santa Cruz they see all the surfing community they want to get involved but nobody teaches them so these two coaches local coaches and PE instructors at the high school taught them how to surf, but they didn't have the equipment. So we got some surfboards, beginner surfboards, and wetsuits, and we had a fantastic day. Okay, cool. Now, are you going to start, are you wanting, or in here in the near future, the public to again donate boards we to want that, surf? We want that to be an ongoing thing. So we, what we want is people who want to recycle their boards to think of us first and foremost, and drop their boards at either the boardroom TC, um, is nice enough to <laughs> provide uh, storage and then we pick them up from there and then in the uh, west side we have Hout also okay. it's, an, it's a place to board so we want to do that and then whoever needs equipment because they want to start a program like that with kids uh, that they think of give surf and call us and ask for okay. equipment so if for further information you can go to GiveSurf.org. GiveSurf.org. Well, yeah. And okay. then there's a contact there, and if you want to email us, we can you can do okay. that. Okay. It's a great program. Well, and it's like, there, I think, you know, every yard in Santa Cruz has a board that's just kind of unclean. Hanging out. You know, that some guy, someone left and moved away. I mean, I, seriously, they're everywhere. I have to tell you, the first boards we got, it was because some when, once we founded this organization, like four years ago, somebody told us that at the dump in Santa Cruz, you did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was you. Yeah. 
yeah. Yeah. And we went and rescued about 15 boards that were there. One of them had a hole and a plant growing in it. <laughs> and we patched it and we sent it to Chile. Well, I have a friend who works at the dump, and he hates to see surfboards get chopped up. And so a lot of them were in bad shape, but he, he grabs them and, we, and it helped the I program. Have, and that's I how we some. started. Yeah, that's yeah. how we started. <laughs> Taz, you got a couple boards you can give? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. All I right, cool. Give Talk today. to me. Alejandra, Talk to me. Yeah. thanks for coming on the show tonight. Thank well, how you, can, if Neil. somebody does have a board, should they drop it off at Hout or the boardroom? And right. when is it the time for us to start doing that? Anytime. This should be an ongoing thing. And then we store them. And whenever somebody reaches out to us, then we have inventory. Okay, cool. There we go. You are listening to the Off The Lip Radio Show on KSCO. They ask you to listen and be heard. This is going to be a very, very short message from our finest sponsors. We'll be right back. That was you. Santa Cruz's own beautiful De La Golf Course offers you 18 or 9 holes and a lighted driving range that has 40 stores. So you're almost guaranteed a spot. Check out their great deal. You can buy a county discount card and save each time you play. The card is just 50 bucks and that lets you save around 25% of green fees for one year from the date of purchase. Head professional Tim Blaustolot and his staff invite you to come and play one of the finest golf courses in Northern California. For further information, go to DeLaViegaGolf.com or book your tee time by calling 831-423-7214. Hi, it's Julie. And Simon with Toyota of Santa Cruz. How are you guys tonight? Hey, let's keep this short and sweet. If you want to get the best deal on any Toyota, new or used, come to Toyota of Santa Cruz. And remember, our service department's open seven days a week, so it's parts and our shuttle. So we will take care of you. Just come in and buy a car. Come down and check out our certified pre-owned center. We have a huge selection, one of the largest selections of pre-owned cars in the Santa Cruz County. If you're looking for Tacomas, Prius, Camry, uh, we have them. We have a huge selection. Election. So one place to go, drive them all. We'll make it real easy for you. Come down, check us out. If you don't want to get off the couch and drive down to the dealership, start shopping online at SantaCruzToyota.com. Then come and see me or Simon, and we'll take care of you. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Just kidding. <laughs> Chill Out Cafe on 41st Avenue Santa Cruz is not just a block from some of the world's best surf, but it is also where you can go relax and order the tastiest grub before and after your sash. Plump burritos, fresh salads, sky-high sandwiches, and a superb selection of hot and cold drinks. They have something for you. Go to ChillOutCafeSantaCruz.com to view their menu and to place your order to go, call 831-477-0543. Chill Out Cafe, where they roll the fatties. Yes, we're back with the Off the Dead Radio Show here on KSCO. In studio right now, we have birthday boy T.C. Terry Campion from the boardroom, my co-host, Anthony Tashnik. Still alive. Legendary big wave surfer, along with the media mogul himself from Santa Cruz Waves, big wave surfer, Mr. Tyler Fox, Alejandro Kramer from GiveSurf.org. Mm. Tyler the scariest wave is on that list, ones that you got to go surf. I'd say probably Jaws. What do you, Ta think? What do you think, Tazzy? Taz? Taz? Uh, that w <laughs> Peak, uh, Punta Lobos in Chile. You think that is? I seen Pete Mel <laughs> on a wave. Pick, come close to the microphone. I seen so we Pete can Mel on a wave there. He uh, lost his board in the final. I was like surfing in the intermission, and from my angle, it was seriously like looked like. He might have died. I just seen <laughs> a giant, it breaks right in front of these rocks. And I, then luckily his leash broke, but I see his board like 100 feet up smashing into the cliff. And I was like, oh my <laughs> God. And he was fine. He came swimming over like like nothing happened. Yeah. But I gave him my board and then I was treading water. But uh, that, I don't know. I was. It's pretty uh, hairy, like where those guys take off. Yeah. It's a sketch. It's a lot sketchier than it looks. For <laughs> sure. Hey, yeah. Tyler, can I give you a word of advice for the yeah. upcoming season? Yes. Okay. Don't room with Tazzy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't, don't talk to him because he'll scare you out of going out there. I know. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, it's, you get, yeah, these stories. All these waves are pretty sketch. No, sure. I mean, it's, it's not, it's a sick wave, but just where those guys are pushing it because there's like a, it's not like Mavs, all of a sudden you're too deep and the rocks are there. Yeah. You know, and they, it's like surfing the Sanders Harbor or something. Like you can get really deep and then, because it comes around this corner, but uh, I don't know. It seems like there's a lot of guys that could be a champ next year for this. And with this emphasis and ASP taking over, the new schedule, there's going to be more events. 
So without saying each other or yourself, who do you think is going to be the guy? Skin dog. That's you. Yeah, you're calling you're going skinny. skinny? No, um, um, I don't know. There's anyone. Could but be, well, I mean, that's your someone. first thought with skin dog, and that's a good one. Yeah, I mean, I he's yeah. second this year, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's he's got as much. He's from chance. Santa Cruz. He's he's the eldest. Is he the eldest on the six? You he guys, can, he can travel and he can fund it. Tyler, who's the guy? Uh, Tyler Fox. No, I yeah. said you couldn't say that. I know, but besides yourself, which I know you have a great chance, but besides yourself, um, God, I, I, it's just it's hard to say that every one of these guys, Tazzy could take it easily, you know, Augie, Skinny, um, Skinny's down in Mexico right uh, now training. Dollar, while you guys are you here. Know, dollar's insane. So it's right. where's Dollar? Where's Dollar? Dollar didn't want to come to the show tonight. It's, uh, he, yeah. He's, he's non political. Any, any one of us yeah, he didn't want to. He, he didn't want to have the Brazilian, Brazilians or Hawaiians. <laughs> you call on them his the Brazilians. Brazilians. <laughs> Speaking um, of Brazilians, we're talking soccer tomorrow night. My show to, my sports show tomorrow night. Yeah, the World Cup starts very shortly. Way this to, is going to become the. Your show this is going to become night. the off the lip soccer show. <laughs> Trust me. Oh jeez. Yeah. Um, who do you think from Santa Cruz wasn't on that list? That should have been. Um. Uh, gosh, I mean, you got those Zach Wormhouts. You got, yeah, there's so many good guys. It's insane. I don't even know where to start. What about what, Pete? What, 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 well, well, yeah, Pete, Pete, Pete's the, the, the commissioner, commissioner now. Yeah. So he been, obviously should. You he's, know, yeah. He's. Does that make him officially retired? Do you think? Has, has Pete gave no him the way. word that he's, he's still getting better? <laughs> well, I'm no, but I'm saying from like the big wave world tour because now he has. A, I think he signed a multi year deal to be the commish. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, it's if he's if it's a good opportunity with you know, the the, the money, buck. yeah, the money. Then yeah, is Pete, Mel, Pete Mel coming on here soon? I know Pete Mel is going to be coming on with his dad and his and his son. So the, we'll get the him for the forty fifth anniversary of Freeline. Yeah, Tazzy, how are you funding it? What do you got going on? Oh me, I'm uh, mowing lawns, doing whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, uh, yeah. Is so it, you guys, right now, we did, you, you're involved in the largest sporting event in surfing history. Um, and it's a struggle to, I mean, it's, you're finalists at some of the biggest events, but it, you think that's going to change? What's going on with big wave surfing? Why is it the, the public wants to see it, but the, the industry doesn't want to pay for it? It's a good question. I, I honestly, I haven't really gone out and tried too hard. I'm, for some reason, it's, yeah, it's, it's hard for, I haven't really pushed out there with companies, but um. Hopefully someone will come to me or Tyler. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I kind of have pushed a, a little bit, asked around and reached out to companies. And um, I, I, I don't know. I th I'd like to think it's not me. That's <laughs> TC, I, have, I, have, I got well, new I, jobs for us, TC. We can, be, we can be pro surf agents. Well, I, I, I got an idea right now. I want to package you guys and sell you as a team. Think how rad I mean, you uh, to win for yourself. You cool. paid your own way to go over there. Just you worked and you paid to go over there, and then you won the Big Wave World Tour. On well, the your undeniably, own. On your own. undeniably, you'd be the best. That'd be like it's like kind of like shaping your own board. It feels so rad walking down the beach with board you shaped. <laughs> it would be incredible. But I, my, my point is not like you said. It's a good question. Is you know you guys are premier big wave surfers in the world. The world wants to watch big wave surfing because you want to know why? It's death defying. A, a two foot shore pound. There's not really too much exciting. People cannot relate to it. Big wave surfing. You can relate to the fact that this guy is risking his life. They should, they should sponsor Augie or Nick Lamb. They don't want, they don't want me or Tyler. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, they should go with someone like Nick Lamb or Augie or Skin Dog. Probably would be a better bet. Why not sponsor you? <laughs> I'm just messing around. <laughs> 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 well, I always say this. We talked about it at break. The, we had Buell on here, and he was like, "Hey, we talked about it. The wetsuit is going to be." the NASCAR driving suit to where sponsors all chip in a little money and you have 12 patches on this wetsuit. Right. And I think that that's something that you guys should be exploring because mm -hmm. um, you need to be funded to do this. It's mm -hmm. an expensive activity mm -hmm. and we obviously need to get some sponsorship. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do this. Tyler Fox, I guess mm -hmm. someone wants to sponsor you. They can reach you where? SantaCruzWaves.com? Yep. Uh, yeah, Tyler at SantaCruzWaves.com. Pretty. Tazzy? Tazzy, if somebody wants to sponsor you and, and uh, they get... can call you, you're my agent. I'll give you ten percent. All right. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> oh, yeah. We're doing. We're double team. Uh, that'd be call uh, Neil. Call the Optimate Radio Show. Optimate Radio Show. Uh, Optimate Radio at Gmail dot com. 
uh, uh, send us. You just swooped my gig. I know. No, I'm, I'm, I'm in on the gig. <laughs> I'm in on the gig. I'm going to 10%. No, he's got better chance with two of us than one of us. All right, well. And uh, you're too busy with the new truck. Come on now. That big silver truck. I did get sweet. a new truck. You know, It'll be a in, contest. You know what? So contest. Whoever gets it gets the percent. That's right. Mm. So, wow. Um, or, that's right. We are competitive, but dude, contest. you are. He, that's right. By the way, speaking of losing weight, still on the diet plan, TC. Not me. I had cake today. Myfoodsmith.com. <laughs> they give my smooth myfoodsmith.com. Eating their food, man. I'm losing weight like you can't believe, except for that cake today. Good work. But before the end of the show, mm. I want to pay respects to. I think all of us here can pay respects to uh, Mr. Johnny Rice. Mr. Johnny Rice had a uh, Johnny Rice Day the other day that everybody showed up to where he's living right now, and it was very, very cool. So um, I think it's awesome that he's at the Sunset, uh, Sunshine Villa, which is overlooking right. Cal's Beach. Right. And what that, that alone, I think, is such a fitting tribute to Johnny. Right. That, you know, he's right there at the beach, and if I was him and I needed some assisted living... Schmitz and Vince yeah. Colliers and then... Keep Marissa, going. Marissa Millers. I mean, the Marissa Millers. <laughs> I don't know. There's a, it's a huge field and a lot to live up to. But right. Well, there's a, there's a lot of premier big wave surfers in this world, and to have six of the twelve that are the guarantee right. invites is phenomenal. Right. And I think there's a lot of people who don't even surf. The people in this community who don't even surf. They're very proud of these guys that got you know got named to to be in that group. Six out of twelve. Fifty percent. The Santa Cruz Six. Well, I we can't. Got, we got cool. This is Tazzy, and I'll get away for all you listeners. You guys are on. You guys are my fans, and it's me and you. Root for me. All right. Good job, Tazzy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tazzy's going on Kickstarter. This has been Neil and TC with you. the Off the Lip Radio Show. We Matt Young, you Fiji, let's do this. I want to thank Chris, my, Chris, my engineer tonight. I want to thank the sponsors. Just been most generous about sponsoring the show. Without them, it's not happening. Alejandra, mm. thanks for coming down here tonight. Thank you. But right now, we've got some food from Star Benny. We're going to have some food. TC, Thank happy you, Star birthday, Benny. my friend. Thank Good you. night.